All right, hi, and welcome to our last day on population ethics. So the paper that we have for today, it's a little bit more philosophically abstract than most of the stuff that we've read in this course. And you know, that's all right, it's a philosophy class. We should get a little bit into metaphysics. But besides that, sometimes stepping back and looking at things from the abstract can help to bring them into sharper focus. So Derek Parfit in this paper is concerned with, or actually it's a chapter from a book, but he's concerned with a deep question of philosophical ethics. And that is when we say that we owe something or we have a responsibility towards future generations, to who or what do we have that responsibility to? So saying that I have a responsibility towards someone who's gonna be alive in 100 years or 1,000 years, it's not really the same as saying I have a responsibility to my students or my family or my neighbors. Or is it? I don't know. These kind of things are hard to think about, right? And a lot of the time we don't have any intuitions and our common sense just fails us. And we can get into some pretty complicated questions pretty fast like this. One thing to think about is that when we make policy decisions that shape how the future is going to look, we can make it so that there's more or less people alive. And a lot of the time, the fact that there's going to be, there may be less people alive, that doesn't even enter into our calculations, right? Most of us kind of have this vague sense that when we're, you know, if it was up to us how the future was going to be, we want people to live as well as possible. And, but as long as the human race doesn't go extinct, we don't really care whether there's more or less people around. But when you really start to probe that attitude, it can get to seem a little bit strange, right? Because we're talking about less people having a chance to be alive than otherwise would have. And it seems like being alive is a good thing. And it's hard to say why we should be concerned with how well somebody lives, but not whether or not they live at all. So this is one of those things that if you think about it very hard, it's guaranteed to make your head spin and you're probably gonna feel a little bit dizzy, but anyway. Um, so Parfit raises a couple of questions about um, meta, you know, population ethics here, and he doesn't really get to any kind of um, answer, although he definitely challenges kind of our common sense beliefs about these things. And that's kind of the way things go in metaphysics a lot of the time. You know, you, it kind of shakes up what you think, but you can't really get to an answer one way or another. But I hope everyone's kind of enjoyed this detour. Um, You'll have a chance to talk more about Parfit with Lisa on Friday. Next week, of course, we have our midterms. We're taking a break from any new readings that week. And after that, of course, is spring break. I hope everyone has a great one. And when you come back, we'll be on to a new topic, which is what our moral responsibilities as individuals towards the environment are, especially in terms of climate change. All right.